That song's lovely, isn't it? Hey guys, my name is Wheeled Justice. I have a dream. This dream involves Nintendo games, way too much free time, and the sanity of somebody who has been locked in a space station for the last five years alone. My plan is to play every Nintendo home release ever. This plan includes not just games released by Nintendo on Nintendo consoles. It includes games released by other people on Nintendo consoles. I am playing every game released on a Nintendo console. So that means I will eventually be stuck playing things like Superman 64 and BB's Kids and Vroom Vroom in the Night Sky and I think Barbie's coming up on the NES at some point. That's going to be a blast and a half. Um, but I'm also going to be playing games that Nintendo released on other things other than Nintendo consoles, which they have done. They recently started releasing mobile games, but back in the day, they released typing games for the home computer. They ported some of their earlier arcade titles to Amiga and Atari and Coleco. Um, so I'm going to be touching on those eventually, too. Right now, however, I'm going to get myself established. I'm going to focus on the NES and play games in more or less chronological order. All right? All right. This here is Donkey Kong. Obviously, it is based on a very popular arcade game back in the early to mid, I think early 80s. I'll let you know later if that's correct or not. I think it's like 1983 the arcade game came out. Um, but it's based on that, and this is a launch title. For the Famicom. That's how I'm going to be playing these. In Famicom order. Just because I want to play these games. As early as they released. In Japan. So. The difference between this. And the arcade version. Hits you right off the bat. Check this out. I'm going to restart this. Did you hear that little tune? I love that song. It's in a certain Donkey Kong Country game that I'm not supposed to talk about yet because it's not in this part of the chronology. But that song was written just for the NES port. I don't know why. Maybe it was to show off the sound chip of the thing. But I, it's not in the arcade version, but it's here. So there you go. Let's start the game proper, because I'm sure you're just sick of me talking over this demo. Okay, so, first thing you're gonna notice, if you don't move, you're gonna get a barrel dropped on your head. If you don't move forward, you're gonna get hit by a flame. That's this game's way of teaching you that you need to... Be on the move constantly or you're gonna die, like I did just there. If you hesitate at all, you're gonna die really, really quickly. Also, you can jump off walls, so that's kinda neat. So, I usually don't pick it up, but just for the sake of showing stuff off, I'm going to show you guys this. This is the hammer. Hammer can break barrels. Can't break that flame down there. Not that the flame's gonna get to me. But it can break barrels. But it will go away eventually. Mario, or Jumpman, 
as he was known on Donkey Kong, cannot jump when he's holding the hammer. And once you use the hammer, it is gone for good. Now, the faster you can get to the top, the faster you can rescue Pauline there. That's not Peach, that's Pauline. And the more points you get in the bonus. Points aren't really going to mean much to me, because I'm a gamer in 2018, so who cares about points anymore? But I'm still going to pick up these items along the way, because they're there, and I'd feel weird if I didn't. Now, I'm doing this because I call myself... I forgot to jump there. I'm doing this because I call myself a Nintendo fan. However, I have not played many Nintendo games. I like pretty much every Nintendo game I've played, apart from, like, Pikmin. I don't dislike Pikmin, it's just been a while since I've played it, and when last time I played it, I didn't really get the whole RTS thing, so maybe we'll check that out. But, like, I haven't even played the Fire Emblem games. I have not played Secret of Mana in its entirety. I have not played Chrono Trigger in its entirety. I have not gotten around to trying Mario plus Rabbit's Kingdom Battle, but I want to teach myself as much as I can about Nintendo's history. So I am starting here at the NES with Donkey Kong, a launch title. A launch title. Now, as you've noticed, I hope, your goal so far has been to get to the top and rescue Pauline. You cannot do this in this level. Your goal here is to jump or walk over these rivets. That's what they're supposed to be, these rivets and the steel girders, so that eventually there will be nothing left to hold up this building and Donkey Kong will fall to his sudden but inevitable demise. Well, doesn't that sound fun? I think it... I totally made that. I should have grabbed the hammer. <sighs> Game over. Okay. Pretend that didn't happen. Let's try that again. So anyway, like I was saying, your goal is to make Donkey Kong fall um, at the end, and once he falls, you get the pleasure of playing these levels all over again. This is a game that I can talk about because I have played it many, 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 many times, as I'm sure most people have. I can tell you that it was made by Shigeru Miyamoto, the man that created Mario, obviously, and also the man who created Mole Mania comes to mind. We'll get to that once the Game Boy is launched in 1989. Right now, I'm in 1985, I believe. Again, I suck with dates. I'll get those down eventually. Um, and I am going to be playing a lot of NES games before I can even think about changing consoles, unless I feel like playing the other Donkey Kong ports right now, which I really don't. I really, really don't. Um, you know what? I am going to take a break because I am getting frustrated and I have a hurting throat because I'm new to this and apparently I can't talk for more than five minutes at a time. I will see you guys later with the end of this game.